So guys, today we're gonna in this video today we're gonna teach you how to uh, get the back housing off the iPhone 2G since I've never seen a very good video explaining how to do it. So uh, let's start the repair. First, you need to use a SIM ejection tool and uh, eject the SIM tray on your iPhone. Pull it out and put it onto the side. Now you need to remove the bottom. Sometimes you can use your finger and sometimes you need to use tools. In my case, I can just use a finger and pry on the edge and it will come out. Mine has came off and now you need to use a small tip fill uh, up screwdriver and unscrew three screws along the bottom. Mine is lost because of the broken framework here. So if yours has it, uh, just unscrew this too. I'm going to unscrew this right now. And they're out. So, before you attempt to open up the housing, remember that if you attempt to open this iPhone 2G housing, you actually bend out the edges like mine. As you can see here, it's bent out a little. So be aware of that. But if you're okay with bending, now take a very, very small tip screwdriver, like this, and stick it into a hole between the frame and the housing. See, there will be a triangle right here, and under the triangle there will be a hole. You need to insert the screwdriver into that hole and pry up. For both sides, I recommend you start with the side on with the volume buttons because that will be easier. Now you insert the screwdriver. So you see here. Uh, mine's not quite right. So you insert it there, so here, and just simply pry up. As you see here, one of the sides will pop off. And just take the screwdriver back out. And do it for the other side too. Once again, stick it into the hole. And just pry up. You see here, you get a very big gap. And you'll actually hear a pop once your housing gets opened. So now you take away your screwdriver. As you see here, the housing is slightly opened. So now you need to take a pry tool and pry against here. You get even further out. This is the other side. You start more and you eventually get the housing open. So uh, you see a connector right here. You need to unplug it, but mine's torn uh, from the previous user. So if you do attempt this repair, remember to disconnect this and do not uh, directly remove the housing there will be a connector right there so now by putting back the housing so now we're just gonna put this back together so now you just snap the housing back into its place start from the top and to the edges you hear a few loud pops once you get them in In case mine's a little bent, so it doesn't want to go in very well. Sorry, my little sister is just messing around right here. She's pretty annoying. So you not you need to use a lot of force to press it in if you have damaged your housing a little. So as you can see here, we've got it back into place. Now we got to screw the screws back in with a Phillips screwdriver. slowly uh, screw it back in remember these screws are in different sizes so uh, they're the same size so it doesn't matter if you get them in the wrong place after you've screwed in those screws you can put the sim card straight back into the iPhone to that you need to put the antenna cover back into the iPhone most iPhone 2G bottoms will have two clips here and two clips at the bottom. 
So now you need to flatten out these two clips. Like this. And now flatten out the two clips at the bottom so they will slip into these two holes next to the dot connector. So now we slide them in. And remember to flatten out the bottom piece, the two clips. And at last, you can slide the bottom casing back in. And we successfully took it apart the 2G back housing and put it back together. Thanks for watching and peace out.